What's up, everybody? My name is Rob Savage, and we're here again with another episode of 600 Seconds with Hollow Art. But before we get started, we need y'all to like, share, and subscribe. Today's guest, we have... You already know that, man. DJ Strong on. You already know what it is. Y'all give it up for DJ Strong on. It is. I'm so excited. I cut my words in half. Yeah, that's what's up. Flex. You got to flex on them. What's up, man? How you doing? I'm good. I can't complain. Hey, uh, can you pull your mic? Put your hand down just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, you know, you I know. should know better. Nah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, I need you to look at the camera and let the people know what it is that you do. Well, I go by the name of DJ Strongarm. Um, my name is actually Tessalini Strongarm Kelly. Um, I started out in promotion, and at the moment, I'm a DJ. It's been a long journey, and I'm glad somebody was willing to finally ask me about it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, what, what influenced you to start DJing? Well, the DJing came as an accident, to be honest. I mean, I've always loved music. I've been loving music since I was young. You know what I'm saying? But um, I've been a promoter for like 20 years. And long story short, I put a lot of money in the DJs. And I just really got tired of paying them. Yeah, yeah, I got that <laughs> And um, I became a DJ. Um, but little did I know, I was actually good at it. You know what I'm saying? I was actually good at it when I started doing it. And because I had been a promoter for so long, um, you know, the music kind of flowed, and then people started to book me for shows. I was really doing it for myself, you right, know what right. I'm saying? And then people started booking me for other events when they came to my events, and it just kind of went from there. Okay, okay. Um, who are some of your biggest influences in, in this thing? Mm, LL Cool J. Okay. To start, because I'm from a different era. So yeah, LL yeah, Cool nah, J, legend, uh, legend. Jay-Z, um, AZ, I don't know if y'all know the name AZ, but yeah. around the time when Nas came out, it was an artist named AZ. Yeah, yeah. Um, like I say, I, was, I wasn't I was always a DJ, so my influences are more of, you know, Hip-hop. actual artists. Gotcha. Yeah. Now, but I will say this, um, I was heavily influenced by Barry Gordy, um, Quincy Jones, you know, people like that, yeah, you yeah. know, uh, real, real producers in, uh, of that time. Um, I just come from a different time where music really moved the people. Not saying it doesn't move the people now, but yeah, it's just saying back it's then. a different vibe, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And it had more meaning to us back then. So the producers and the executive producers of yesterday are my influences of today, you know? Right, okay, okay. Uh, where the stage name come from, DJ Strongarm? DJ Strongarm came from a troubled time um, because I actually, my name is actually Tessalini. And um, um, I went through some things. My son passed away, my oldest son passed away in 2018. Sorry to hear that. And um, before that, let me, let me just start at the beginning, beginning. When I was young, when I was 16, I got in trouble mm-hmm. for armed robbery. You know what I'm saying? I was really young. I got in trouble for armed robbery. And when I went through my transition of my name, going from Tesselin to Strong Arm, I wanted to have something that I really, that I could really embrace, but yet have a stronger meaning. So I, I took something that was a negative and I turned it into a positive. And since strong arm and armed robbery was a part of my past. Yeah. And the, the moment that I was going through after my son passed was a, a strong situation that I had to deal with, you know what I'm saying? Then I just kind of went into DJ Strong Arm. And that was also the name of my company in the beginning. It was initially it was Strong Arm Entertainment. Gotcha. And then it just became Strong Arm. Now I love it, man. So you actually took something that could have held you back and could have held you down and used that as your strength, as your armor. Uh, I, yeah, I fuck I, with that. I took something that did hold me back and did hold me down and turned it because my life wasn't just, you know, it wasn't all peaches and cream after the armed robbery situation. You know, I went through, I was young when that happened. So as I got older, you know, I had five kids by the time I was 22. You know what I'm saying? Say five? Five. Damn. Yeah, I'm five. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Five, you know what I'm saying? And at the, at the end of the day, I ended up with seven. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, it's just, like I said, it, it, life didn't just take a better turn after I went through what I went through. I had a lot more years to go, so I, I got knocked down a lot. And um, the strong way is the only way I know right now. Yeah, man, nah, you, you, you survived, you, perse- you persevered. 
I fuck with that. Um, <clears throat> speaking of that, how has COVID nineteen affected your career? It hasn't. Hasn't. <laughs> Still working. It hasn't. I mean, I went. I broke all the rules when it first happened. So you know, what I'm saying like when they first told it. You know, last year when the lockdown happened. Entertainment is all I know. I was just talking to Jay Juice outside, and um, he didn't even know that for the past two years. Like, I've always been an entrepreneur. I've always been an entrepreneur. But for the past two years, entertainment is all that I've done. I've only done this. So all money has been generated from this right here. So when COVID happened, everybody else had to go inside. And I just wouldn't go inside, you know? So yeah. what I did was I brought the party inside. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I started doing a lot more virtual stuff. My podcast was born during COVID. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's yeah, when my that's podcast smart. really took off was during COVID. Yeah. Now you've seen a lot of a lot of stuff like that, like the podcast and, and stuff taking off more. But um real quick, we're gonna do a, a word association. Mm -hmm. All right, I said word of phrase, you just tell me how it made you feel. The first word is basketball. Uh how does it make me feel? Uh my son Amari. He's a he's a ball player. I always think about him when I think of basketball. You Say know, it one more time. My son my son Amari. When you say basketball, I always think Amari. Yeah, yeah, Because he's like a, he's a young cat that I feel like is going to go somewhere. So anytime people talk about basketball, I automatically think about yeah. Amari. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, second word is family. Uh, what I've been doing for the past 20 plus years. Mm. Taking care of family. That's Absolutely. an easy one. Absolutely. The final word is shows as a DJ. I love them. I love the shows. Like, I love doing shows. I love being at shows. I love seeing people put on shows. I love this show. Yeah, appreciate you, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> so we finna take a quick question from the audience. How you doing over there? Good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. What's up, Kwame? We done seen you enough. We done know you. <laughs> Kwame. Is that Kwame over there? Yeah. Superstar. <laughs> you got a question for us? I, I do got a question. What's the toughest part of being a DJ? Um, the toughest part of being a DJ is not always knowing what song to play. Like, you know, when you, you look at the crowd and a lot of the times as a DJ, you're trying to get a vibe. You know, like to play the best music, you try to, well, I know me as a DJ, I watch the room and I try to get a vibe. So if I can't catch a vibe or if nobody's really moving a lot, sometimes people li are listening to you, but they're not reacting to it. Right. So as a DJ, for me, the hardest thing is just being able to sometimes catch a vibe when nobody's rooming, moving in the room. You got to find out where the vibe is at, where it lies. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. What, what, if anything, do you think is missing from the South Carolina music scene? Um, I, don't, I think confidence is missing. I think... Um, Honestly, because I don't really think that many things are missing. I think the people just don't know what we have. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I've never, and that's something I talk about a lot of my partners with. You know, um, I, want, I want the people in South Carolina to stop saying when we make it. Because we've already made it. Right, yeah. We've been there for a long time now. Yeah. And um, we, we're not giving ourselves the credit for, um, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think it's we're not giving ourselves the credit for where we're at. And, um... The whole crabs in a barrel theory is starting to affect us in a very negative way. Because in reality, we made it a long time ago. But there's so many people that didn't get to where they want to be at that they want yeah. all of us to believe we're not where we need to be at and we're already there. Right. And like to that, the crabs in the barrel thing, I don't like the idea of we got to shoot this person down or bring that person down. It's enough room for everybody to eat. It's enough room for everybody to do what they want to do. So, yeah, I feel that. I feel that. You got any upcoming events or projects? Um, I got OnlyFans Kickback uh, Part 6 coming up on October the 2nd um, in Swansea. Uh, you know, I do all of the events with, you know, I'm always touring with Miss Tip, you know, for the Boss Up. You know, I think, I believe she got okay. the Boss Up for coming up, you know. Um, and, uh, and, and then we got the OnlyFans Meets the Boss Up, which is really like a Halloween party. We got that coming up. You know, we kind of, you know, it's, I got the grand opening coming up at another establishment, which I won't speak on because I'm in somebody else's establishment. Okay, I got you, I got you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I got, I got a good bit of events coming up, man. I, I kind of try to stay busy. Okay, yeah, I mean, you got to, you got to. Um, <clears throat> a little bit off of business, what you prefer, comedy or drama? Oh, man. I like drama, man. I mean, drama. it's kind that was kind of hard because I... I like to laugh, but I really like drama. You know what I'm saying? I like drama. Okay, what's your favorite film then? 
My favorite film is, um, is Heat. Heat? Yeah, Heat. That's a classic, yeah, man, Heat. classic. You know what I'm saying? Legend, I'm trying to get where it's coming from. Uh, <laughs> but nah, man, Heat is a classic, dude, I love it. Um, what, 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 what you listening to right now, man? What's on your playlist? Miss mm, Tip, um, okay. Kwame, um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm a big indie guy, so you know what I'm saying. Um, yeah. as far as mainstream, because I got to throw that out there too. I, mean, I listen to all music, man. But right now, uh, I've been I've been listening to the Drake and the and the and the Kanye, trying to compare those really? two. I've been trying to compare those two, man. It's it's kind of a hard one. It's a hot topic right now. Yeah, it's a hard <laughs> one. It's a, it's a hard one. I ain't gonna lie, as a hip hop fan, that's a hard one. Man, I say that J Cole. <laughs> See, I gotta listen. I haven't even like. I've, I've, I've gone so long without listening to J. Cole, and it's not on purpose. It's just that, you know, when you, so many things come out, you kind of miss people sometimes. It's, it has been a you lot know. of but stuff. But J. Cole out. is highly underrated, first of all. Still. You know, <laughs> still. Yeah. Um, if you could work with one creative, dead or alive, who would that be? Dead or alive. Wow, that's a good one. That's a good one. I don't know. Um... Man, I'm gonna say Quincy Jones, man, because I think Jones. that would be kind of that'd be amazing. That'd be different, you know what I'm saying? That'd be different. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, you mentioned earlier you feel like we already made it. Yeah. What yeah. do you feel like there's still more I made it moments to go? And if so, what do you think would be your big I made it moment? Um, nah. I don't feel like there's more I made it moments to go. I feel like you mean for me personally or yeah, person. seeing me? No, definitely not for me. Like I'm good. I'm happy where I'm at. Like, you know right. what I'm saying? Like I um I came in this game twenty years ago when nobody was doing showcases and I helped I helped create a part of that scene, something yeah. that we didn't have. And my biggest goal and one of my biggest dreams was for South Carolina to get to a place where we had our own scene. Yes. You know, where independence could really live and thrive. That goal has been completed as far as I'm concerned. You Absolutely. know what I'm saying? And I don't, like I said, I don't really prescribe, I don't subscribe to the one day theory. I subscribe to I'm here now theory. So yeah. Tess and Lena been here for 20 years, man. Strong, I'm only been here for a year. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. at the end of the day, I'm where I want to be. I'm where I earn the spot to be at. And um, I'm happy with it. Nah, I don't feel like there's no more higher moments for me to, really get to. Word, man. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, do you have any advice for anybody out there watching? Uh, my advice is if you're going to be in this business, if you're going to be in the independent game, understand that independence is exactly what this is. Like, stop worrying about what other people think. Stop worrying about what other people feel. Stop worrying about who's watching you, who's not watching you. If you're not paying attention to what you're doing, if you're not on top of yourself, if you're not feeling what you do, you know what I'm saying? Because you got people out there that's not really good at stuff and they feel they self too much. But I don't have a problem with people who are overconfident and not that talented because that means they'll get there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, they'll get there. But my biggest, my biggest advice is just don't worry about people telling you can't. And when they do tell you you can't, use that as a reason that you do. Absolutely, man. Let the people know why and how they can follow and support you. Why can it? Why should they follow um, and support you? The reason y'all should support me is because I support all of you all, and I've been doing that for a very long time now. Yeah, clap it up. For, yeah, clap it up. Clap it up. Yeah, you know, um, that's just what it is. Um, they can find me at, you know, Strong Arm Kelly on Facebook, or you can also find me at I, you know, um, at I am Strong Arm on Instagram. You can find me at I'm a Strong Arm anything on Instagram, but um. Yeah, I mean, that's where you can find me, and that's, that's why you can find me. Okay, where? You got any uh, final shout-outs? Once again, shout-out to Miss Tip. Uh, shout-out to Kwame. Shout-out to Jeju. Shout-out to Hollow Arts. You know Appreciate what I'm saying? Um, shout-out to Jason Kidd. He over there looking to see you. I don't make sure I don't forget him. <laughs> I saw Kidd looking up here like, I know he's going to say my name. He get, you know, <laughs> Shout-out to my man Zaki. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, and just and shout-out to the whole Carolina scene. I want everybody to understand that we are already here. Please stop saying we're next. Please stop saying one day and give us credit for what we've already done. Some of the greatest people Absolutely. in hip hop come from right here. Some of the greatest people in the industry come from right 
here. We can't acknowledge. It's not. It, it, everybody keeps saying when we get on, you and me are not the same. So yeah. when you get on, you let me know. But we, we are already there. Absolutely, strong, man. The strong way. Hey, great advice, man. We appreciate you. Y'all give it up for DJ Strong Arm. Appreciate you guys. Yeah.